Tim's tarantulas came in the mail today, so we're gonna get them put away in their new containers and uh, we'll tell you a little bit about the ones that he got and show you some. This species is the Chromatopelma cyanopubescens, which is arguably our most exciting species. A couple catch cups ready here just in case. They're known as a skittish species. I've never owned one of these guys before. Already a lot of movement in there. So I'm gonna try to just pull this out. So this guy could bolt. Tell me a little bit about this one. So we know it's scientific name, but what's its? Green Bottle Blue, the common name. Central America, it actually lives with like agave and stuff like that in very arid conditions. So most of these I've got, you can see, you know, the substrate's quite moist. There's a lot of moisture in there because these slings are gonna be really moisture dependent. Whereas in this one, I don't have it as moist. It's a little bit more arid for this particular species. I'm excited. This is a really healthy looking little sling. As soon as we did the unboxing here, it, it was kind of showing some really nice movement and signs of life right off the bat. So, so this one is the Salmopeus irminia. which is the Venezuelan sun tiger. And actually this species is probably the first species that I saw. I think I saw it in about 99 or 2000 in a magazine and really wanted it. This one's actually the most long awaited species for me by far. These are really, really striking. An arboreal species. This one I kind of opened up and took a peek a minute ago and it was feisty. It threw me a threat posture and everything. So this could get a little interesting. So I think what I'm gonna do is just try to pull the whole works out like I did before. And get that in here. All right, got that contained. Now, this is where it's gonna get a little interesting. These are known to be very bolty species. Oh yeah, and it's, it's a lot bigger than the last sling. By the way, these are quarter inch slings. This one is a, is a half inch, maybe a little bit larger. So it's definitely a more serious spider for sure. Oh yeah, beautiful. I love the markings of the sun tiger. So I'm gonna use this brush here to try to turn it around. Oh yeah, here oh, we yeah. go. Spicy. It's okay. There we go, there we go, there we go. Beautiful. Uh-uh-uh, this is home now. Welcome to BC, boys and girls, hopefully girls, because we want females, but we don't know. These are all unsexed. When you order them online, they come packaged wonderfully like this. This is all from Tarantula Canada. The adult female is very, very striking. Those nice orange highlights also on the legs. Uh, yeah, very, very striking looking tarantula. So this one here is the Kilobrachus fimbriatus. It's the Indian violet tarantula. It's a fossorial species, so that means that it's a burrower. And it's gonna spend like 95% of its life literally in its burrow. But honestly, it's such a striking, beautiful tarantula that anytime you see it when it comes out, it's definitely worth it. Known to be feisty, and because it's an old world, they'll have potent venom, although it's tarantula this small, I'm not too worried about it. What I am concerned about is it bolting all over the damn place. So we've made little hides under these pine cones and everyone that's gonna bitch about the pine cone, don't worry, it's sterile. And no, I'm not gonna explain my practices. I'm just gonna have to take my word for it. There he is. I thought he jumped, but he didn't. Run to the dark. Yep, yeah, right into the hide. It's exactly what we want. We want this guy to be right in there and then to dig and make his burrow. So as spiderlings, these ones aren't very vibrant to look at, but as they're adults, they do get like a purple iridescent look on their legs. They have kind of a, an interesting striped pattern on their abdomen. They, they are very good looking. I wanted this species particularly, not because it's a fossorial species, but more because it's one of the more prolific 
web spiders. They're known to completely fill up their enclosures with white cloudy like webs and I, I definitely I like species that don't do that. I like species that do do that. I just wanted a little bit of contrast. This is one that does that. Um, the next one that I have we're gonna do does that as well. Another old world. Yeah the OBT orange bitey thing. I owned one of these years ago. It was definitely one of my favorites. Super striking bright orange tarantula. Although once again, as a sling, might not be quite as vibrant as when they're an adult, but uh, let's take a look and see. Pteranoculus marinus. I think. <laughs> I don't know. By far known as one of the more aggressive tarantulas. They can be vicious. Some of them are just very defensive. As a lot of tarantula keepers would argue and be like, there's no such thing as an aggressive bullshit. Yes, there is. And this is one of them. My, my old one that I had years ago literally would like run out of its burrow and threat pose as I would walk into the room. Already done some webbing inside its enclosure. Do you see that? This one's really small. Aggressive at all. Wow, tiny. Yeah, and like I said, doesn't have that bright coloring yet. But they get a real, like, I can actually see it right now. I can see the color starting on the abdomen. It's hard to see, but I can actually also see right now the starburst pattern on top of the carapace. And uh, also a very prolific Weber. Lassadora Parabiana, the Brazilian pink salmon bird eater. Fourth largest species of tarantula in the world reach up to 10 inches of diagonal leg span. They're also known to be not super aggressive, right? Like you, you could possibly handle this species, although a lot of people are very much against tarantula handling and it's, it is kind of sketchy at best for what it's worth. This is a really cool species. There's all kinds of pictures out there of people holding these giant fucking things that are like as big as two of their hands. Here we go. This one's a baby, obviously not that big yet. Terrestrial species, doing a little running around in there. Yeah, quarter inch sling. Yeah, you're cute. Mm. Now it's like, whoa. What the hell is going on? Too much too soon, big boy. Nandu Chromatus. Ah! Nandu species are super cool. These guys uh, have a red ass. Can be known to be a little feisty. Oh, it's so tiny. Where'd you go, you little fart? Oh, that's <laughs> Did you even hear me? Barely. It's a little cattle elbow possum or something weird. Curly hair. Nicaragua, old school, super classic in the hobby. Stubby, heavy bodied, lots of curly hair on them and uh, super awesome temperament. Usually known to just kind of chill and hang around and, and be out in the open in the enclosure and inquisitive and curious when you're doing your stuff in there and known to be very, very docile and, and handleable. Without any further ado, here we go. Welcome to BC. Yeah, we, by the way, when I say welcome to BC, these things didn't come from, these are all captive bred species that we got from Tarantula Canada, which is in Montreal or somewhere in Quebec, I think. So that's why I say welcome to BC. They've kind of had a long day. Oh, wow. Very similar, again, in the, in the coloring. Yeah, and most slings are gonna be like that. These little turds, we're gonna feed them cricket legs or like we'll chop a meal, uh, meal worm up into a bunch of small pieces. They're mostly gonna scavenge feed. They're not going to do a whole lot of hunting at this size and you gotta be really careful what you feed them as in you don't wanna feed them anything as big, bigger, bigger than two thirds of their body. It's kinda hard to get prey items like this for these little guys. Last but not least, one of the more exciting species that I was interested in, Brachypelma albiceps. <laughs> a certificate of authenticity to state that this particular Brachypelma albiceps species was captive bred in Mexico. Here's the deal. I actually have on order 
these really, really super small sling enclosures. And then I've got some medium sized ones. And with the pandemic and how everything's happened, unfortunately, I wasn't able to get them here on time. So we've got them in. These are like 32 ounce deli cups, which are great. However, these slings, some of them are like really small. That is too big for them, but we are expecting these imminently. Once I have them here, it's gonna be all, all set up properly for them. I will be checking on their moistures and everything every day. We'll be, we'll be doing scavenge feeding and everything's gonna be great. These are great healthy species from Tarantula Canada. Check out their website. They do shipping all around Canada. We watch a couple people on YouTube. If you're really interested in tarantulas, watch the Tarantula Collective. I watch Tarantula Cat. I watch Tom's Big Spiders. Get on YouTube, check it out. You'll find those guys. And there's all kinds of really awesome tips on tarantula husbandry and enclosures and everything. Tarantulas, honestly, are one of the most awesome pets. They're super low maintenance. They're very interesting and exciting. I can't rave enough about how generally easy they are to take care of and how rewarding it can be when you have some people over that have never really seen them before and you can share with them a feeding, can show them a molt, or just any one of these species could be out in the open for them to see. I highly recommend watching some videos on YouTube because they're super cool. I'm really happy and excited that I got these. What do you say to all the haters, Tim? <laughs> Fucking freak off there, Barb. <laughs> you do you. I'll do me. So we're on our way to go pick up another tea and some more custom tarantula enclosures. And super cool, we ordered them from Arachnophiliacs. This awesome guy named Bruce in Langley, he can ship through Harbor Air. So us being in Nanaimo, we can get it literally within an hour. So uh, yeah, away we go. So we just made our way down to Harbor Air in Nanaimo. It's like right downtown Nanaimo. So Tim is, he's expecting some teas or a tea and some new terrariums to come in. The tarantula that he got is a surprise. He told me that I've seen it before and I was like, ooh, I don't know what he's getting. So this is exciting. Tim made a tarantula friend on the last shipment, so we're meeting up with her to get uh, to give her some stuff. But we're just walking over to retrieve the package, and you'll get to see what the surprise is when it happens. It's the tarantula man. He's here. The package is here. I I was. Well, <laughs> So this species is the Brachypelma bohemi or bome, I don't know how to say it. The Mexican fire leg. This is a two inch female. So these guys are known to see that. Yep. Kick urticating hairs. Well guys, thanks for watching. I hope you liked all our tarantulas. Got these tarantulas from Tarantula Canada and Arachnophiliacs, plus the enclosures from Arachnophiliacs. Check these guys out on YouTube also. We've got Richard at the Tarantula Collective. We've got Tarantula Cat, Tom's Big Spiders. Those guys have got all the information on YouTube. They're way smarter than me about tarantulas. Yeah, so we're probably gonna do some feedings coming up. Very happy with the specimens that we got and look forward to watching them grow.